Home Town Food Cooking Episode 11 Pork Chives Dumplings. Today we are doing something fancy, which is a dumplings. It's about crafting the perfect pork, shrimps, and chive dumplings in Malaysian Chinese way. Get ready for a dumpling masterclass that combines flavors and artistry. <laughs> Let's get started to do this pork, shrimps, and chives dumpling. First, meet Chinese chives, a staple in Asian cuisine known for their delicate flavor. Place the chives under cool running water and gently rub them to remove any dirt or debris. From dumping fillings to savory stir fries, these chives add a distinctive freshness to any dish. Now that your Chinese chives are clean and ready to use, let's cut it to the smaller pieces. It's about half of cm long. Look at the vibrant green. Next, let's get started to prepare our filling. Start by adding all the key ingredients into the blender. First up, let's use 300 gram lean pork cut into the stripes. You can also replace that using minced meat if you would like. Blend it from the stripes into the minced meat. Make sure you don't over mince it. Next, let's add on our 200 gram large shrimps. It's around four large stream that I'm using today. Next, add on our two chopped garlic cloves. Secure the lid tightly and let the blender work its magic. Listen to the soothing hum of the blender as it effortlessly combines the flavors. You can also choose to chop on your chopping board. Open the blender lid. Use a spoon just to check any sneaky chunks looking around. If it does, let's fire up our blender again and get those blades spinning until it really has a mince meat like mixture. Once the filling is mixed, next move on to seasoning our filling. Let's use one teaspoon of light soy sauce. Next ingredient is 1 teaspoon of oyster sauce. I'm using Lee Gam Gay Panda brand oyster sauce. Few drops of fish sauce. Few drops of Maggi seasoning sauce. A quarter teaspoon of sesame oil. A sprinkle of white pepper. If you do not have white pepper, you can replace it using black pepper. Sprinkle a little bit of fine spice powder. It's optional for you if you do not like the taste. Next, one teaspoon of Chinese Shaoxing wine. A quarter teaspoon of Japanese mirin. A quarter teaspoon of ABC sweet soy sauce from Indonesia. Close the blender lids and blend again. Alright, we're almost done with the filling. Now, include all the 120 gram of Chinese chives that is chopped. Adjust accordingly to the proportion of your filling. Lightly blend them again. Lastly, add on one fresh egg. And lightly blend the filling for the really last time. There you go. That's all done for our dumplings filling. Set aside and let's get our workspace clean. Take out the store-bought ready-made dumpling wrappers. 
Lay out your dumpling wrappers on clean, dry surface. Place a teaspoon of pork chai filling in the center of wrapper. Be careful not to overfill. Dip your finger in a bowl of edible glue, which is the starch and water, and run it along the edge of the wrapper to moisten it. Fold the wrapper over the filling to create half moon shape. Start pleating. Work your way along the edge of the dumpling, folding small mm. pleats and pressing them firmly to seal. And fold around three to four pleats on each side, but adjust as needed depending on the size of your wrapper. Make any necessary adjustment to the shape of the dumpling. Once done, keep it at the container for frozen purposes if you can't really finish whole dumpling in one go. Let's repeat the folding dumpling process. First, lay out dumpling wrappers. Place a teaspoon of pork chai filling in the center of wrapper. Dip your finger in the cornstarch water and run it along the edge of wrapper to moisten it. Fold the wrapper over the filling to create a half moon shape. Pressing the edge together to seal, make sure there are no air pocket trapped inside. Beginning on one end of the dumpling, use your thumb and index finger to pinch and fold a plate in the edge of the wrapper. Let's repeat the process in closer look. Place a teaspoon of pork chai filling in the center of wrapper. Be careful not to overfill as it will make folding more difficult. Dip your fingers in cornstarch water and run it along the edge of wrapper. This will help seal the dumpling shut. Fold the wrapper over the filling to create a half moon shape. Pressing the edge together to seal, make sure there are no air pocket. Beginning on one end of the dumpling, use your thumb and index finger to pinch and fold a plate in the edge of wrapper. Press it firmly against the opposite edge to seal. After bleeding both sides, press the edge just together firmly to ensure a tight seal. Make any necessary adjustment to the shape like a moon dumpling. Well, while I'm doing the rest of the dumpling, let me share with you my observations of these pork chive stream dumplings. Well, that is incredibly popular and delicious for several reasons. One being that richness of pork. Pork brings a rich and savory flavor to the dumpling. And sweetness of stream. Stream adds a subtle sweetness to the dumplings, balancing out the savory notes of pork and enhancing the overall taste profile, which makes the whole dumpling feeling less tough or chewiness. The ingredient which is the freshness of Chinese chive. Chives contribute a fresh and slightly pungent flavor to the dumplings, cutting through the richness of pork, shrimp, and adding a vibrant herbal note. The textural variety, the combination of ground pork, chopped shrimp, chopped chive, create a delightful textural contrast in the dumpling with tender meat succulent stream and crisp chives adding layer of texture to each bite. What I love about these pork stream chive dumplings are incredibly versatile. It can be enjoyed in various cooking methods such as steaming that which is I'm using for today, boiling pan fry just like a gyoza or even air fry allowing for different flavor profiles and texture. See how gorgeous are these pork stream chive dumpling. These dumplings are sure to be a hit at your next gathering. You can keep them as frozen whenever you like to steam it. Just defrost it and there you go. You have a hot steam dumplings on the go. So if you're looking for a mouth-watery recipe that will satisfy your craving, look no further than these pork stream and chive dumpling recipes. All right, let's move on to exciting part. Let's get them to steam. 
I use a baking paper just so that my dumpling will not stick to the steamer itself. Place the dumplings in a single layer in the steamer basket, making sure they are not touching each other. Leave some space in between so that allow for even cooking. If you do not have parchment or baking paper, you can use natural cabbage leaf to prevent the dumpling from sticking to the bottom. That is quite a useful tip that I learned somewhere. Let's prepare the steamer to steam all this fantastic and delicious dumpling. Fill the bottom of the steamer pot with water, making sure it doesn't touch the steamer basket. I was using about two chopsticks to leave the steamer and the pot. Once the water is boiling, carefully place the steamer basket over the pot and cover with a lid. Reduce the heat to medium to maintain a steady simmer. Steam the dumplings for about 8 to 10 minutes or until the filling is cooked through and wrappers are transculent. Avoid opening the lid during the steaming process as this can cause the temperature to drop and affect the cooking time. Once the dumplings are cooked, turn off the heat and carefully remove the steamer basket from the pot using other meats. Be careful of the hot steam. Here's my recap of pork chai dumpling recipe. If you're wondering how to fold this crispy wonton, click on this link below and check out my next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more delicious recipes and cooking tips. Thanks for watching.